Welcome to episode four of Bonafide, the office edition. In today's episode, I'm gonna tour you through our space. It's not finished yet. And today, we're gonna do a little online furniture shopping with Article. Hey everybody, it's Karen here. If you're new to the channel, well, I'm an interior designer in Vancouver and I've been growing my company, House of Bon, along with my amazing team for over 10 years. What's great about Bonafide is that you get to see the design and construction process behind my personal design projects. These are not for clients, they're my own projects. In this case, we've been busting at the seams, so I just signed a new office lease and we're in the midst of designing our new studio space. We have to be ready to move in six short weeks, so catch all the action in this new series of Bonafide, The Office Edition. I'm currently standing in the entrance, so this is our front door. One of the reasons why we have a doorbell is because we don't have a receptionist. We didn't want a receptionist, there wasn't a need for it. There wasn't a need to seat someone by the door away from the team and greet people coming in. Instead, we've got a doorbell, so every time the front door opens, we can hear it from the workstations and we know someone's just jumped into the office. We know when a client has come, a courier, a sample rep, and to be honest, it's actually been a super functional feature that was just a last minute addition to our office planning that really works for us. This is an area where I've planned to have some weight chairs, an accent wall with our signage, which we don't have yet, the lighting in the entry is nice and bright. We've got some white track lights that came from Robinson Lighting and Bath. They are a big retailer here in Vancouver with tons of lighting product to choose from and also plumbing fixtures. So in this case, the nice thing about track lighting is that it is directional lighting. So you're gonna get a great spotlight highlighting our actual logo and they add just the perfect amount of ambient lighting in our front entry. As we walk into the space, you'll notice that there's a bunch of open shelving. Right now, it's serving as storage for all of our kitchen stuff. I'll be honest, we've been really busy with our projects, so we haven't had a lot of time to actually focus on our own office. This is just temporary until we get all of the millwork installed in our kitchen. So right now I'm standing in our kitchen and the kitchen is finished to a point where it's absolutely functional and we actually really love it. It seems like such a luxury to have a kitchen in an office when we didn't have one at all before. It's really nice to have our own sink, our own dishwasher, even though you can tell that there isn't a panel on the dishwasher yet. We have a microwave and over here we have a full fridge with a freezer. Now the fridge isn't gonna stay here. This is gonna be part of the kitchen, but for now, it's sitting here open next to some open shelving and our printer area, but it's still super functional and we love that we can store, well, there's a lot of booze in there, but all of our lunches and things that we need throughout the day. It's really nice to have a full size fridge because if you remember in our old office, we only had a tiny under counter fridge. There really wasn't enough space for our entire team. We love, love having a little bathroom. Now, this space isn't totally finished. We do have plans to install tile, to do a beautiful mirror, some wall sconces, as you can see. We just have the cover plates on the walls, but we needed to get it moving ready, and it totally works. The other door off of the kitchen is our secondary meeting room.
One of the things I love about the way that the office has been designed is that all of the lighting is automatic. So as soon as you walk into a space, the light comes on. It's super energy efficient and very, very practical. And ever since we installed the wallpaper, I am finding that this room is a little bit dark. So this one light source isn't quite enough. It's something that we are gonna change down the road. For now, it's totally fine, but I do wanna address the lighting in here because I want the room to feel nice and bright. Now, we got our wallpaper installed. Super exciting. This Mocum print comes through James Dunlop Textiles and they carry a number of different brands. This one just happens to be my favorite print. It was designed by Catherine Mocum and it's the La Palma print. It's the coral color instead of the green color that was installed in my powder room. Everyone loves the print. It does feel really creative and interesting in here. It's a nice private workspace. It's nice and soundproof. And I can reassure you that this room gets used all the time. We've had our glass walls and doors installed and we've got our great brass hardware. What I love about that is that these rooms in the front workstation area feel very finished because of the doors. One of the issues that we're having with the boardroom, you guys can probably hear it right now, is that there is an echo happening. Part of the reason for the echo is that we're in a closed space, we've got a lot of hard surfaces, like the drywall walls, the drywall ceiling, the concrete floor, this glass. Right now, it's not completely finished. We have plans to see how much even just closing the door changes the acoustics in here. It's pretty powerful. We have plans to install a carpet. We're getting a big boardroom table made. We're gonna have some soft seating. All of those elements are really going to drastically change the acoustics in this room. But there's a lot to do to get this really, really done. This is our work zone. And this is by far the space where we spend the most amount of time. We had planned this, as you guys know, to have all the desks in the area where we get the most natural light. We're still waiting for our blinds to be installed, which I think is happening tomorrow. Hence, <laughs> our lovely temporary craft paper blinds. <laughs> it's a work in progress, it's all coming together. Our sample library is way bigger. Our cork boards have been installed and they've been painted white to match the walls. I love having visuals up of our current projects, inspiration, and there's something really nice being surrounded by all this great work that we're doing. Now, just off of the work zone is my office. Right now, it's a storage area. <laughs> There's no furniture here yet, so I haven't been using this office, but on that note, I can't wait to pick out some furniture because I really, really want to start using this office. As you guys can see, our office is coming together, but we really don't have our furniture finalized in any of these rooms. Like even the desk and the chair that I'm sitting on right now, this is temporary. So we're gonna do a big furniture shop. We've decided to partner with Article for our office furniture because they have such an array of really, really cute, mid-century modern inspired furniture. I introduced you guys to Article in my last Bonafide episode when I did my master bathroom and bedroom reveal. We love Article because they have a great website. It's super easy to shop online. They do free deliveries for any purchases over about $999, and their furniture is just really adorable. I think a good place to start is going to be in our boardroom. Here's a sample of the wallpaper. The wallpaper hasn't come in yet, and there's all of these really great sort of gold tones, some brown tones, some muted greens, olive tones, and we would love to have a boardroom chair that really complements this wallpaper. Select all chairs, and then scroll through the selections. 
ones. I really do love this Russ dining chair, but this feels a little bit simple. It also doesn't look like this is the type of chair that you'd wanna sit in for a few hours. And to be honest, when we're having meetings in our boardroom, sometimes they can be an hour to two hours, so we definitely need a chair that feels really comfortable and that encourages people to sit and concentrate for that long. Here's another chair that I like. This is the Oscuro chair. I like that it's got a fabric back, a fabric seat, it's got a nice square base in a brass color, so that could also look really elegant in our boardroom. It does come in a gray or a black. Hmm, I'm gonna have to ask my team about this. Now here's a chair that I really like. This is the Savis Mist Gray Dining Chair. It does have a fabric back and arms, so that would be really comfortable, good to lean back in, and it does have a fabric seat. I think the light gray could work really well with this print and that the walnut wood will tie in also really nicely with this print. So I definitely think that this is a contender. Ooh, I do like this chair. This is the alchemy chair. And again, it's got this brass base. So this feels really modern, but it looks really comfortable. And one of the things that I love about the article website is that they have all of these different views of their product. So you can see the chair, for example, on an angle, you can see the front view, the side view, the back view. So you get all of the detail of all of the product and that makes it really easy to shop online. Okay, can I show you guys the selections and get you guys to weigh in? So I have three options for the boardroom chair. We need 10 of them, one. So there's the leather seats, no arms. There is this one. Third option, it's very square. That one feels like a little bit more boxy yeah. in a way. Should and we eliminate it's, it's, that one? I think we should eliminate that one. Okay. Yeah. The second one might be good. I like, I like the second, I like that it adds a bit of something lighter to the mm -hmm. space. You guys all like that one? Yeah. It's good. It's, Easier when the team is all on the same page. <laughs> now I'm gonna shop for some furniture for this room, the palm room. I'm looking for a media console because we do have plans to install a TV in here later. Looks like Article has a media unit that is a combination of white and walnut, which I hadn't thought about doing in this room, but that could really work. So this unit is 48 inches wide and 18 inches deep. Just gonna try this other one. This is nice and long, which I do like the look of that. So this is the Envelo Media Unit. This is 80 by 18. See, that's kind of nice because it would fill the space. I do like that a lot better. So we're gonna use these white chairs mm -hmm. and pull them in probably like three or four, I would imagine. I found this media unit. It'll fit on the wall, almost the full wall. It's yeah. better, right? It, yeah. it looks more custom that way. I think so too. Mm -hmm. Definitely like the media unit. Yeah? Yeah. You guys like that? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay, good. For my office, I would love to get one or two accent chairs, and I'm looking for something that's gonna work really well with this pink swan wallpaper. So here's a chair that I really like. It's the Matrix Club Chair. I love velvet. We're using that a lot on our projects right now, and I think it'd be really cool to have a velvet club chair in my office. So there are a variety of different colors. I do like this blush pink, although I would worry that the pink would become a little too girly in my office. And the dark green is also really nice, but I'm not entirely sure that I wanna go with green. The coral is really cool. I think the coral could work really well. They call this the persimmon orange color. Okay, what else is here? Let's see if there's any other chairs. I do really like the shape of this embrace chair. This is really cute and it also looks like it comes in a velvet fabric. It's small enough that it could fit in the corner of my office. Oh my gosh, I'm just realizing that Article has sent us a kit with some of their samples. 
This is gonna make my shopping experience so much easier because there are fabric samples here. So this chair comes in a rose pink, which I think would look really good with the wallpaper. It also comes in this moss green, which is similar to this color. This isn't the actual color, this is olive green. But either one of these I think could look really, really good with this fabric. So I'm gonna write down the embrace chair and the embrace chair is actually my number one choice. When we laid them all out, we were unanimous that the mm -hmm. rose pink looked yeah. better. Yeah. It's kind of fun, right? Yeah, I like it, I like yeah. the very one. Yeah. Do we want to order options then? Or are we pretty, it feels like we're pretty decisive. I think we're pretty decisive. Mm -hmm. I think we're decisive. Okay. We've been thinking about this for a while. We've been mulling it over. Yeah. We've looked at the website a few times. <laughs> okay, awesome. Now, I'm also looking for a chair that's gonna fit in our front entry. It's gonna be the first thing that you see when you walk into our space. I would love that chair to be super comfortable, very inviting, and I'd love it to feel like it's really current. One of the things that we've been talking about in the office amongst the team is having a chair in a mustard finish because we're loving the mustard velvet right now. So as far as lounge chairs go, I really like the shape of this Nord chair. It feels mid-century modern, it's a little bit tailored, it's got really nice lines, I really like the walnut legs. It's kind of just fun, contemporary, and this comes in Yarrow Gold, which is this fabric color. What I love about having fabric swatches while you shop is that there doesn't need to be any back and forth. You can see right away whether the color is going to work, you can touch and feel the fabric, you can feel the quality of the fabric, this mustard yellow, it almost has a little bit of a green tinge to it, which makes me love it even more. And as I look at the lines of this chair, I really, really want this for a front entry. We're all on board with that, and yeah. that is this one. I love yeah. that. Ooh, do they have any tables? Um, like little side tables? Mm -hmm. They do have this perforated table. Yeah, that one's nice, mm -hmm. actually. actually that and they have this little and pink one. Those ones, the, the pink yeah. ones are cute, and I like the perforated. The perforated one too. I don't like glass for the office. No, I don't either. I like the perforated one. I do too. The mustard. Yeah. And then what are the finishes? I like the brass, and I kind of like the gray too, because it's a little unexpected. I kind of like the brass one. Yeah, I like yeah. the brass one too. Really? Maybe because it's more subtle. Like I like that it kind of blends in a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it's not, yeah, it's not, it's a really it's subtle brass. Yeah. It doesn't have a lot of yellow. It's so brown. maybe this is one where we can order options for this one. Because okay. I do like the gray. I feel like putting a, a brass vase or something on top of it could be cool. Yeah, Styling I, it with brass. We don't want it to fight with the logo. Yeah. Because the logo will be brass above. Yeah. It's like a lot of gold. Which maybe it's not bad. Maybe that whole wall should be gold. Everything should be gold. <laughs> 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 okay, the Equa table. Good call. Well, the great thing with Article 2 is that they have a 30-day warranty. So if Perfect. we decide we don't like anything or we need to exchange it, yeah. we can do that within 30 days. For our collaboration area. So I'm looking for a stool that's super easy to move. I don't want any arms or anything cumbersome like that. Something that's super flexible. And if you want to stand at the table, you can tuck it underneath without it being in the way. So something like this little Essie Cannon stool is perfect. It's got clean lines. It's actually got a padded seat, so it looks like it would be really comfortable. It comes in table height or counter height. You can get it in a walnut or a light wood. I'm gonna have to ask the team what they like better. I like the oak. I like the oak too. Yeah, I like the yeah. oak too. Yeah. Okay, this is so easy. This is like we're on a game show. <laughs> oh. <Those are> <laughs> Okay, yeah. decided. Yeah. Cool. Yay. We're gonna wrap up there. For all of the furniture that you guys have seen, I would love to know what your favorite pieces or what the one is that you're most excited about. The mustard club chair in the front, the media table in the palm room, the gray petite mid-century modern inspired chair that's gonna go around the boardroom table. We've got the stools for our collaboration table or the Barry club chair going in my office. 
So comment below, let us know. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye for now. Nice. Look at that. Within a foot. Ooh. <laughs> Let's see it. <laughs>